Hello Van Hackers and welcome to this short video about how to access code verification challenges. So the first thing we must do is to log into our Van Hack accounts. So I'm going to sign in here and after you sign in you want to access your profile. So just click on view profile here. Okay. After you do that, uh, scroll all the way down to code verification challenges. So here you're going to see a small description of uh, what it means to do a code verification, right? So once you complete one or more code verification challenges, you become a code verified Van Hacker, which means that you're going to get a preferred status in all Van Hack selection processes connected to the skills of your completed challenges. So just to give an example, let's say you complete the React.js challenge and then uh, you get a good score and you start applying for React.js positions. This means that for these positions, you are going to get a preferred status. So this is going to increase your chances of getting an interview with a Van Hack partner. It also says here that you will be able to retake this challenge after three months, okay? So you can take all the challenges here, but let's say you want to take React uh, more than once, you have to wait three months between your attempts. And of course, if you don't work with any of those listed skills, don't worry, you do not need to complete code verification. Now, in order to access a code verification challenge, all you have to do is to choose uh, one of the skills here from the list. So I'm going to choose React for the purpose of this video and then click on Get Invite, okay? Um, you're going to see a pop-up with a confirmation that basically says that once you confirm, you are going to receive the test instructions via email, okay? And you will. Uh, and the deadline will only start counting after you start the challenge. So don't worry about clicking OK. It's not going to start counting in the seven days yet. Uh, and you will be able to cancel the invite without penalty if you don't start this challenge. OK, we're going to talk more about this briefly in the future. So I'm just going to confirm here. OK. Uh, you're going to see that your profile page is going to be updated and you're going to see this card here. So a few things to notice, you can only complete one challenge at a time, all right? Uh, and here you have the buttons to access challenge and cancel challenge. So let's go to access challenge first. It's going to redirect you to this hacker rank page where you can see the test instructions and you can see the form for you to log in. Okay, and the start challenge button. So let's, let's go over the test instructions really briefly. So the first thing to consider is that most of our challenges contain algorithmic and role-based assessments, all right? And your score will always be a reflection of how many test cases your solution has passed and how performant your code is, okay, for most challenges. And of course, it is important to note that we will unfortunately not be able to give individual feedback to candidates because we just we have too many candidates and too many completed challenges. It will not be possible. All right. I hope you understand. The second thing to pay attention to is that once you click on start challenge, you will have seven days to complete it and you will be able to see a countdown timer on the page with the questions. OK, then hack will not give deadline extensions. Also, your code may be submitted to companies so they can review it. And it will be available in your profile so employers can see it. So uh, do your best, all right? Uh, and lastly, but not less important, you may cancel this challenge on your VanHack profile. So if you have started it already, what does it mean to start a challenge? To so click here on Start Challenge, okay? If you have started it, you can cancel it, but this is going to count as a test attempt even if you haven't uh, completed your solution, okay? So you'll only be able to retake the challenge after three months. If you haven't started the challenge, so if you haven't gone past this page here, uh, don't worry, you can cancel your challenge without penalty, meaning that after you cancel, you'll be able to generate um, a new invite immediately, okay? Uh, and of course, if the test link has expired, you can renew it on your VanHack profile. Uh, another important point to consider is that if you require technical support while completing the challenge, meaning you face a bug, you face an issue with the challenge itself, you can uh, email support at hackerrank.com and please remember to cc Stephanie plus code at venhack.com. But if you just have a general question that is not technical related, you can feel free to email Stephanie plus code at venhack.com. Okay, just remembering that we're not going to give deadline extensions and will not give feedback on results. All right, 
So if I want to, to start my challenge, all I have to do here is to select my work experience, uh, is to input my city and my contact number. Okay, go here and I just start the challenge, all right? It's going to take a while for it to prepare the test environment, but then you'll be able to see the two questions and the countdown timer at the top of the screen. Okay, let's say that I want to cancel this challenge. Well, all you have to do is click here, cancel challenge, and you're also going to see uh, a warning. So as I said before, if you cancel a challenge that you have started, you will only be able to retake it in three months. Okay, uh, but if you have not started the challenge yet, you'll be able to retake it whenever you wish. So I'm just going to remove this challenge here from my profile, okay? Uh, and then you're going to see that you'll be able to select any other challenge and click on Get Invite, and it's basically the same procedure, all right? After you finish the challenge, your score will appear at the bottom of the screen here. There will be a new section on your profile, all right? Um, it's most of the time uh, it's updated immediately. Sometimes it may take up to a day for your score to appear, but it will be there. Okay. Uh, and one last thing, if you want to practice before you complete your code verification challenge, you can. All you have to do is to access or practice challenges. So you're going to see three options here, easy, medium, and hard. Uh, this does not mean we have only three challenges, okay, because each of those encompass uh, dozens of questions and every time you generate for example uh, an invite for a an easy practice challenge you're going to see a different question to work on okay these you may take how many times you wish whenever you wish it's just for practice and the score will also appear on your profile all right so that's it I hope this video has been very useful to you and I wish you good luck on your code verification